everyone! Welcome or welcome back to Chem Talk, where today we'll be discussing dimensional analysis and how it helps chemists carry out experiments. So let's talk about it. Dimensional analysis is essentially unit conversion. We start with an amount in one unit and have to change it into the corresponding amount for another unit. So let's look at this simple example to better understand this concept. How many pounds are in 5.5 kilograms? First, we want to write out what we're given, 5.5 kg, and we write it over 1. We're trying to convert from kg to pounds, so we want to think of how many pounds are in 1 kilogram. That would be 2.205 pounds. So we multiply the 5.5 kg with 2.205 pounds over 1 kg. Now when we're multiplying, this kg in the numerator and the kilograms in the denominator cancel out. So the unit that we're left with is pounds. And that's a pretty good indication that we're solving this right, as we want it to end up with pounds. And since 5.5 times 2.205 is about 12.13, our final answer is 12.13 pounds. But what if we have a more challenging problem, like this one? How many hours are in 16 years? We can't go straight from years to hours, so first we need to change years into a slightly bigger unit. Well, we could go from years to days and then days to hours. So now we can start converting. Let's write our given 16 years over one and then convert that to days. So since there are 365 days in a year, we multiply 16 by 365 days over one year. And now days to hours. There are 24 hours in a day. So we multiply our expression by 24 hours over one day. When we multiply 16 times 365 times 24, we get 140,160. And the unit is hours since the other units cancel out. So hopefully you noticed in that last problem the steps we take to solve a dimensional analysis problem. We first create a plan on what units we're going to convert to, and then we start the conversion process by first writing out our given and then multiplying that by the units we need it to convert to. There's one more important thing to note when it comes to dimensional analysis. If the units we start with are cubed or squared, conversion factors also must be cubed or squared. Let's say we're converting 18 centimeters squared into inches. We first write our plan, so we can convert centimeters directly into inches, so that's all we need to do. And now we can write out our given, 18 centimeters squared. Now there are 2.54 centimeters in an inch, so we're multiplying 1 over 2.54 by 18 centimeters squared. However, we need to raise the 1 over 2.54 to the second power, because the unit we start with is centimeters squared. We can distribute the second power to the numerator and denominator, but make sure to also distribute it to the units. So now we multiply 18 centimeters squared by 1 inches squared over 6.45 centimeters squared, and that gives us 2.79 inches squared as our final answer. Now, why don't you try out these practice problems to gauge your understanding of dimensional analysis? In the description box down below, an answer key to the problems is attached, so be sure to check your answers with that resource. How do chemists use dimensional analysis in their jobs, and why is it important? Well, dimensional analysis is super helpful when conducting experiments. Say you need to measure out five cups of a substance into a beaker, but you only have a quart-sized container to measure the substance with. By using dimensional analysis, you can convert 5 cups into quarts and get 1.25 quarts. So you would measure out 1.25 quarts of the substance for your experiment. So chemists always use dimensional analysis to convert units in their experiments, whether it's for measuring or if they just need to convert that substance into a different unit. 
Now, before you go, let's recap what we covered in today's lesson. Dimensional analysis is the process of converting units. When we're using dimensional analysis, we first want to create a plan of what units to convert to, then write our givens and convert. And when our units are cubed or squared, our conversion factors are also raised to that power. Chemists use dimensional analysis when they carry out experiments in order to effectively measure substances or convert them into a different unit. And that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and please visit us at www.chemistrytalk.org to access more amazing chemistry lessons. Bye.